Don't you love finally getting something in the mail that you've been wanting for years and years? I certainly do. This particular item is a DC power supply, but it's variable. You can change the voltage and you can change the amperage. And I believe there's a couple other little fiddly things you can do with it too, little settings on there. But otherwise, it's mostly simple. It goes up to 30 volts, 0 to 30 volts, and it goes 0 to 5 amps. So, current and voltage both have two dials. There's coarse and there's fine. Let's adjust voltage to where it stays at 15.2 volts. Now, each of these adjusts the maximum. So, let's say we wanted to adjust the current to where it would only go to a maximum of... .27 amps. Well, the power supply has to adjust the voltage in order to get the amperage down, so it automatically adjusts the voltage. Whereas before, you would have a constant voltage and it would automatically change the amperage. Here you have the constant amperage and it automatically changes the voltage to suit the, the needs of the motor. Likewise, if you're, if you're trying to power something that needs a lot of amperage, it will cut out whenever it reaches the maximum amperage. You see, once I get this ball up to 12.6 volts, it's already using the maximum amperage, so it can't pull any more voltage from the thing, even though this is all the way up to 30 volts. We could raise the amperage and the voltage will then go up. Now let's try something that needs a more precise charge. The batteries are reading 4.06 or 4.05 volts. I have the DC power supply going into the lithium batteries. Now lithium batteries if you charge them to above 4.2 volts, within one-tenth of a volt, they will fry. Right now I have them simmering at 4.1 volts and they are taking 1.4 amps. And you see they're dropping down, that means that the battery is slowly charging. Now let's try, uh, try charging three that are in series. Now they are registering at 12.21 volts and I want them to register at 12.3 volts because that way each cell would be at 4.1 volts. It's charging at 12.3 volts, and it's only taking 0.9 of an amp. And as you notice, it's also going down, meaning it's charging, and it's taking less power. Well, now that I have a universal power supply, I think I'll listen to some music. It's actually not using that much power. It's pretty cool.